So this week, I received several rejection letters from papers that I've been working on. So those of you who don't know what that means is that as scientists, we work to try to publish research papers. And at least in my field, it's really hard to publish research papers because you get a lot of rejection. The rejection rate at many of our journals is 95%. So that means only 5% of anything that ever gets sent to these journals gets accepted. So I received two in this week. And, um, you know, what I want you to sort of think about, this takes me probably my whole summer of writing these things up, writing these papers up, and spending a great deal of time and effort and thinking about this. And I want you to imagine the feelings that you have when you go through that, right? And as you get rejections. So you feel all sorts of negative emotions, right? I feel like I'm a failure, I wake up. And um, in fact, I woke up early this morning because I couldn't sleep. I felt really bad about myself. Um, and I was thinking about ways to channel this frustration. So the first way that I think about that is internalizing these emotions and thinking that I am a failure and I'm problematic and I have all of these issues and I shouldn't be doing this, all of those emotions, um, the sort of stigma associated with it, I'm no good, all of those things come up. And they're very real, they're very salient there. And then the sort of second order things that happen where I go through and I think about what's going on in, in my life and I think, hey, hell no, I'm actually pretty talented, I'm pretty amazing then it must be the editor's fault and it must be the reviewer's fault. They don't understand what I'm talking about. And, you know, to some degree, there's probably some truth to that, right? Like there is, there's an ultimate decision there. But, you know, I talk about and I emphasize kindness, support, psychological safety, things that, that um, you know, that, that, that are really challenging to address. And sometimes there's problems, right? And And yes, I do feel like, man, I, I don't want to sort of deal with this, this situation. I don't want to deal with these problems. It hurts. Um, but if I think about these things as sort of unconditional love and, and kindness and thinking about this, I, I really think about the situation in terms of what is going on, the sort of inherentness challenges that, that we face. So me as a, as a scientific writer, I guess, I don't know how to do things. I don't know how to write. Um, I've been doing this for many years and I still don't get it. I'm still clueless. Um, I completely don't understand anything, right? And then on the other side, I think in terms of me is, yeah, you know what? Maybe the editor was right. Maybe that the, the uh, reviewers are right and they, they do see flaws and um, you know, how do I deal with this? How do I process this? And what do I go through in terms of thinking through this? Um, you know, ultimately, I don't think that there is a lot to sort of process in the sense of, um, you know, the work comes, the, the work in terms of processing, think, thinking through this is really just a matter of time. And that's how I keep my kindness. And that is how I keep my sanity um, is parking it for a little bit, pausing and thinking about like, it's, it's not that important, right? Like these things are not that important. If I can detach, if I can, if I can get to the moment where I'm just whatever um, and detach and give that some time to process and think through these and, and sort of, go through these emotions that you feel, um, I think that that is helpful on, on both sides. It's helpful to sort of process the fact that I'm not a failure and I'm not, um, and, and to give me that confidence to deal with that. But then on the other side, process to time to, to let the sting out and realize that those other people on the other side, they're just doing their job. They're doing exactly what they should be doing and, and I'm just missing the mark and that's it. And there's not a lot to it, right? And and this is where 
I'm learning that the sort of rationality thought that if you just simply work at something, something's gonna good, that's gonna come out of it. It's not necessarily true, right? It's not always true that way. And in fact, there's different ways to imagine the world. And one of the ways is me imagining the world is I'm just a bumbling idiot and I'm bumbling through life, right? And I think that that is a way that we all probably should sort of view this as we're kind of bumbling through the world. We don't necessarily understand the world and the world is inherently a lot more complicated than, than we ever give it credit for. And, and as I imagine that, I imagine us bumbling into things more, right? And they just opportunities kind of actually happen. There's a whole analogy or whole, you know, view on this. They actually, is quite popular, but doesn't get a lot of traction. It's called the garbage can view of um, of decision making in organizations, where people and this Marchin Olson, where you know these very or um, very amazing thinkers in this, and and the idea is you're just kind of bumbling through life, and and there's no rhyme or reason to things, and I think that that is maybe a better way for me to process this because then it removes the agency. It's not me that's sort of thinking about these. It's not the other people that are sort of processing it and stuff, but it allows me to cope with it. And maybe it's wrong to sort of view that way. Maybe I am inherently flawed or maybe they are inherently flawed and problematic and I should be angry and stuff. But ultimately that doesn't help out anybody when you have that view. It doesn't help me out because I get angry it doesn't help them out because they are people too dealing with the same things. So the only thing that I could do is imagine that we're all just kind of bumbling through life. And that's it. That's the reality of it. And that's how I process dealing with rejections is getting up, doing it again, bumbled through life a little bit more. Maybe something will happen. All right. Take care. And have a wonderful day.